going on guys? Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. We're actually making this video for Saturday really early. No way I'm rushing around doing all types of shit. And we don't make it until like the morning of Saturday or like late Friday night. But Kev stopped by. And I figured, you know what? I'm in here today. Got off work relatively early. I want to ultrasound some girls. With that being said, that's what we're going to do today. We're into some hiccups, guys. And I actually need your opinion on a few things. Obviously, this season I'm utilizing our ultrasound. Which so far turned out really, really well. And the reason why is I have a couple girls, especially in my stranger project, that look completely different from each other, even though they're both at this same follicle growth um, schedule, I guess, or line. They're both at like 34, 35, 33 millimeter follicles. My one girl we're in ultrasound first, she's relatively thin looking. But last time I ultrasound her about a week ago, she had like 34 millimeter follicles. So I don't know if that's cause for concern. She has a longer, more slender snake. She's always been that way. And conversely, I have my OD fire and she, Clown, that's actually, actually give me this real quick. Let's check this out, right? Check this out, guys. Where is that? OD Fire and she clown locked up with our stranger leopard clown. He's underneath there, little boy. But they're locked up right now. That should be the last lock. You see how thick she looks? I'll show you in a second uh, how thin this girl looks, comparatively speaking. We're going to go through. I'll show her in a second. We've got a couple of locks. I'll just show you quick. Got this girl right here locked up with our, it's our confusion, get out of there, big boy. That's our confusion clown locked up to our killer Enchi Blade clown. And more importantly, guys, we've got a huge lock right here. Very, very happy with this lock. Check this out. She shed actually mid lock. Get out of here, D. That's our Batman girl we picked up from Joe Empire State Exotics about two years ago. That's our pastel redhead head clown. And they are lock, locked up. After I saw Miguel's redhead Batman, I knew I had to take a shot at this. So fingers crossed with that. She's about 13 millimeter follicle. So Hopefully we get a nice clutch out of our Batman girl, and then we can recreate those redhead Batman. So with that being said, guys, let's ultrasound this girl real quick. Because more importantly, I kind of want to take a look and ultrasound this girl. And we'll see exactly how far along our Stranger Project is, right? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at her, this is our, our, our high OD yellow belly fire clown from Ozzy. Now, when the girls are this far along, which actually is interesting too, because... Had I not had the ultrasound, and I just looked at her, I'd be like, ah, all right, she's not that big, okay? But if you look, there's lumps are right there. So we're gonna take a look at her right now. We're gonna see how far along she actually is. And we're gonna try to hit this on, try to get a nice image of her eggs, and hopefully see how far along she is. And more importantly, try to check um, how many are actually in her. I'm a little concerned. I've talked to several people. Some people say, hey, Vic, don't worry about it. Other people are like, hey, listen, could have all slugs or she could have like three eggs in there. So let's take a look at this. All right, so right off the bat, Kev, come here. See that? That's an egg right there, you see it? See that? That's, that's one. One. Uh -huh. Cold bladder, one. Definitely two. Two. Three. All right. Right there's three, right? Four. Right? Am I wrong? Mm-hmm. Five. Five. It looks five. like five eggs. Now, if you look, how big that egg is. So let's get that. We can get that right there. Now we'll take a look at that, Kev. So I see five eggs. Do you agree? Definitely five eggs. All right, so let's take a look. So the egg kind of starts here, and it goes all the way past this screen. Past the screen. Probably to right about there. So she's right about 40. Five eggs, about 40 millimeter follicles, give or take. Um, so we're right where she wants to be. So we expect to see an ovulation out of her, right, in the next next week or so. Because uh, everything that I've been told about ultrasound, guys, now I'm making this video. By all means, if you guys are, are experienced ultrasound, comment down below, DM me, okay? Because I, I need the help, and I want to learn how to do this very good. But my understanding is when you ultrasound, you kind of want to get them started and then get a lock in at 10, 20, then like 30, 35-ish. And then once they hit about 40 like now, she got her last lock in last week, they're pretty much done, all right? and then you just wait for ovulation. Once she has 40 millimeter follicles, give or take, you should ovulate about a week later, two weeks later. But then you take a look at her. Look how big those, those nice five eggs in there. Then she doesn't look all that fat. What do you guys think? Now she has a longer snake, about 18, 1900 grams, about 1900 grams, give or take. But she has very, she's slender, slender right? Very so we'll slender. see what happens, guys. I'm a little concerned, okay? This is a big project for us. That's our high OD yellow belly fire clown. High OD yellow belly fire clown that's locked with our stranger leopard clown several times. Now looking right there, she looks good to go. But again, I expected her to be a little thicker, so I'm a little concerned. We see five eggs, and the people I spoke to says, hey, listen, she might be a little thinner. That just might be how she is. 
and she might only have three to five eggs in her. Lo and behold, Kev agreed and saw five. five. Eggs, yep. Hopefully they're not slugs. So we'll see what happens. They look pretty good in there. Fingers crossed right there, guys. Now it's going to be a waiting, waiting game. I'm not getting any more locks in there. But we'll document that, right? What's today, kid? Uh, two worst. So we're at 30. We're at like 40. That makes sense. Because last time I did her, she was about 35 millimeter foxholes about eight, nine days ago. So she's probably going to close in and eventually uh, hopefully ovulate. So we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed with that one, guys. I did. What's he doing? No, he was holding me. I do want to ultrasound our, our OD Fire Entry Clown, but she's locked up right now. Nope. So we're going to let her rock. What we are going to do is take a look at this girl right here. This girl right here is our Fire Russo Spot Nose Clown. She's locked up with him a few times. Um, looks a little thicker because she slams rats. But here's the thing. Last time I ultrasound her, where are we at, Kev? Where, where is she at? Right here. She only had 10 millimeter follicles, okay? And that was back on 1230. And if I remember correctly, she was about eight the month before that. So a little cause for concern. So we'll Slow. It could be, but we'll see what happens. Because I'm hoping maybe I just fucked up last time because, you know, I am a ding-dong. Uh, Diesel, get your ass out of there. All right, let's take a look at this, Kev. Let's see where we're at here. We're getting better at this. I'll tell you that. Huge shout out to, see, I don't see anything in this girl. No. All right, there's a gold bladder. So now we gotta keep going, right? Once I see that that black mass there, I know. Yeah, you gotta go from there. She looked that I'm big. Oh wow! Right, a lot of them. All right, that one right about there, right? So we'll be at Kev. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. Not much. Yeah, not big at all, right? She's not really growing. So I'm saying, eight millimeter follicles, if that. Agreed? Yeah. So look, that, that, see now, here's the thing now, guys. See, if I see that, what that tells me is this. I'm not going to waste our stranger boy with her right now. There's no reason, right? Because he's, as we know, he's a prima donna. So I'm not going to waste a spluge with him. This girl's an old proven breeder, too. Gorgeous animal, right, Kev? So nice. Yeah. So obviously, I'd love to get a nice fire Russo. Bat, stranger Batman, but we're not going to waste him with her right now. We'll continue letting her eat, and we're going to satisfy the other ones. We're going to ultrasound one more, though. Now, this girl, I'm really excited about. The reason I'm excited about her is we actually hatched her out here. She was the girl that we sold off uh, to somebody that actually bought her back in a package deal with the cinnamon pie girl that gave us all the shark mouth, but she grew like an absolute weed. That's our pastel spot nose clown who's actually descended of Tank, that one uh, spot nose Leopard spot nose heck clown that passed away in 2020, back in November 2020. So I'm really excited about that because lo and behold, at about 18 months, guys, she was like 1,800 grams and she's actually growing follicles. The last time we ultrasound her was on about a month ago, on 12:30, December, yeah, December 30th. She was at 11 to 12 millimeter follicles. Now she's been eating like an absolute gavoon. And also, uh, we got another lock in with her recently. About, about a week after that, more importantly, she's been bull wrapping. I'm pretty excited about her. Now, take a look how chunky this girl is, Kev. Thick. Right? Like him thick? Like him thick. My man. My man. If you don't like him thick, you're lying. All right. Let's keep this thing moving. So now, big dummy. Now I'm interested to see how far along she is. Because, again, it's like the tale of two cities here. Because we have one girl that's a big, proven breeder, 2,400 grams, not growing at all. Then, then you have this girl that's only about now... She hatched out, I would say, June. So she's 17 months old right now. 18, no. I'm a ding dong. She is 20 months old right now. Let's see where she's at. And this will answer the question too. If you hatch out a snake in 18 months and eats well, can you breed it within the first year? Hey, yo, look who could we? I'm getting good at this shit, Kev. Huh? Right on. Oh, baby. Where we at? What do you think? I think we're at about 18, 19? 17. Okay, you're a dick. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, right. 19. Let's get the average here. All right, 18, 19. Yeah. That's huge, guys. This is phenomenal for me. So now what does that tell me? That tells me that one, my 19-month-old, 20-month-old ball python we hatched out here is growing very nicely. And she doesn't look chunky. She doesn't look uh, unhealthy. And we're probably going to get a clutch out of her um, at about two years old, okay? So hopefully we get eggs on the ground at the two-year mark, which means she was ready to breed about 18 months. And what I like about that is this. And this is why I love using this ultrasound. Because now what's going on is we know... See, if I didn't have the ultrasound, who am I putting my... my if I had to pick between two snakes, 
just by looks, who am I putting my Stranger Leopard clown to? The Fire Russo Spotnos clown, correct? Right? right? You got a Batman mix in there. She's better genetically. And also, um, she's a proven breeder. She's older. But now it's ultrasound. We know she ain't doing shit. Don't waste it. Uh, right. But then we know our pastel Spotnos clown that's younger. It's showing a 20 millimeter follicle. So that means this week, guys, we're going to get the last lock in here of the OD Fire and she clown. He's locked up now. We're going to let them rock. Give him about a week a week off, give or take, week and a half off, off from food, then get one more lock with that pastel spot nose clown, then monitor the shit out of him and her. If our fire Russo spot nose clown doesn't get his shit together, we're probably get get her shit together, we're probably gonna put him to this girl right there. Although he's trying, huh? That's our pastel clown pipe, guys, to the OD Fire and she OD no, I lied. OD ODYB Fire Leopard. Pied het clown. He's definitely trying. We got different male shed. We got sperm plugs on her. And even last night I threw another male in there to kind of get competition. Put the pressure on him. We're trying, man. We'll see what happens. Let's all just have a couple more. See, one thing. Oh, let's check out Eve. We'll do, the, we'll do Eve. So Eve, of course, is our first ever holdback. Big mama's daughter. This is a 2020 hatchling here at Blue Light Morphs. Um, she, of course, if you guys are following the channel, uh, was locked up with this boy right here who's actually our pastel banana enchi pied we hatched out here. He's over that way. Wants well, nothing to do with that girl whatsoever. However, he is a blue line morphs hatchling, and so is she. So this might be the first blue on blue crime. You know what I mean? So we'll see what she's at. Now, she was at... <laughs> okay, so a month ago, she's at 18 millimeter follicles, and we got a lock in on january 12th we got another lock in with that boy this clutch although you know not that powerful it's just pretty much a normal head pod to a pastel and pastel banana entry pod however it is the first two animals we produce in-house that we'll be breeding the first animal we produce to be sitting on eggs and then with that being said also the first animals first double set of, first male we produced going to the first okay Mm -hmm. It will, yeah, yeah. Woo. Been up since 1 a.m., guys. Um, first animal we ever produced on eggs, but also on top of that, it's the first, both of the animals we produced here. Does that make sense, Kev? Close enough. You guys see what I'm saying? Close enough. The first time ever we produced both animals, give us a clutch. There you go. All right? All right, let's see where she's at. We're getting good at this. When I first started doing this, I was, ooh, oh, that's wow. big, bro. Yeah, those, are, those are big. All right, that's where we're at, right? Agreed? Mm -hmm. Let's get a nice. That's a nice one. She's about thirty. I'll say yeah, thirty, right? Yeah, thirty. All right, so we're gonna get one more lock in. Do you know what we're actually gonna do? Let's measure this real quick, and we might swap them right now. Yep. He wants no. Actually, you know why, Kev? Because I threw these together. This girl right here, I'll pull her out because they ain't doing nothing. This is my first ever. This is my first ever actual uh, morph I've ever gotten, okay? If you guys remember, this whole journey started. I bought like a normal. I don't think I'm a mess right now, guys. Don't care. <clears throat> this is, um, when I first got that first normal and died on me, then I bought Big Mama. I then bought this girl as a hatchling from South Shore Serpents here on Long Island. Great guy. Um, and she's my first ever actual ball python with a different genetic in her besides normal. Pastel, but pastel lesser hat pie. Yeah, I know. All white snakes is what it is. But with that being said, I kind of threw them together. Just kind of had her for a while. She's four years old, so fuck it. Let's see what she's at, Eve, here. And then we might actually swap them right now. 31. Yeah, so she's at 30. So I want to get I want to get a final lock in there with these two. So I'm going to take this boy. How cool is this guy, by the way? Check this out, guys. Almost like Paradox. Look at his nose. His nose still looks like banana. He's a pastel and she banana pied. Before you say there's no pied on here... Uh, the mom was a pastel entry pie, and the dad was a banana pie. So he is a visual pie, just no white. And he kind of like, almost like exantic, weird, right? Yeah, Crazy really looking. Is that picking color. it up, Kev? Sick that's looking, color. right? Sick. So we're going to put him in here with Eve and get that final lock in there. Very happy with that. We'll take our blue tail let us know there's a male in there. Did not forget. So that's awesome. Let's document that real that quick. Down. Uh, what are we doing? 2-1. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to continue on this journey, guys. I just wanted to show off what's going on in here. Um, we'll come back. Me and Kev will do a few, and then we'll film the end of this video, and we'll show you exactly where our girls are at, especially the more important ones like our clown pie stuff, so forth and so on, guys. But stand by. Let us get to work.
All right, guys, so we just bulldozed through, I think, half of our breeder girls. We didn't touch much of our clown pied stuff. We're gonna go through that. I kind of like to break it up, to be honest with you. Getting all getting fat, back starts locking up. Can we imagine how Kev feels? Mm -hmm. But, mm. all right, first, let's just go through some of them, guys. I'm pretty excited about a few. And so we went through some of our stranger guys, went through our redhead, um, our redhead boy that locked up with our fire blade girl, this girl right here. She gave us a bunch of beautiful eggs this past season. Come on, get out of way, dogs. Get out of the way. She was at 12 millimeter follicles and she actually went down after the lock. So she's down to about eight to nine to 10 millimeter follicles. So we're cause concern with that. We'll check back with that later. Same thing with this OD Vanilla Girl. Now this OD Vanilla Girl was sitting at 10 millimeter follicles last month, but she didn't get locked with our, our pastel redhead boy. So she went down a little bit. So we'll see what happens with that one too. We're gonna keep that thing going. Um, Kel Leopard Clown, not doing shit. And the girl over there really not doing shit. Confusion Project. Actually pretty happy about that, guys. Our Enchi Clown here that locked up with him, that hasn't been eating for us all that great. She's at 16, 17 millimeter follicles, so she's actually growing nicely. She was at about uh, 12. So she went in about a month, she went about four or five uh, millimeter follicles. She got a lock in about two weeks ago. Hopefully that's stimulating some growth. But what's really nice is this. Our Gotham girl locked up with that Confusion Boy too. And we look concerned, she's a little smaller, only about 1,500 grams. Really couldn't find much follicles last time I ultrasounded her about a month ago, but they were sitting around four to five millimeters. We're at eight to nine right now. So hopefully that's stimulating some growth. And then down over here, the last two, we got our, our, our Keyhole Clown girl. She's starting to grow. She was paired to our Confusion Clown. Interested to see how Keyhole and Confusion go. And then our Sterling Lesser Clown uh, also growing from our Keyhole Clown. So pretty happy about that. I mean, our, our Confusion Clown. But more importantly, guys, I wanted to check this one out. As you know, we're trying to pair up our OD ODYB Fire Leopard Pied Het Clown. And we finally got a lock last week. And it paired to, who the fuck did it pair to? It paired to our Killer Leopard Clown Pie, okay? Now, when I did ultrasound her, she was sitting at, where was she at? She was at about eight to nine millimeter follicles. I just ultrasound her now, she's at about 12. And we got that lock in about two weeks ago, which means she's growing. So we're gonna try to focus in on that. Hopefully get some more locks, but at least we see progress, okay guys? Pretty happy with everything we got going on here, guys. We're growing, we're moving along here. Really happy about that. Let's check in back on this boy. Is he locked? Oh, is he locked? Is he locked? I don't know, Kim. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It looks like that is. That's closer than before. I think that's a lock. That's his tail. I know that marking on his tail. And that's hard. It's this way. I, I don't want to fuck with him too much. You film still fucking fuck. fuck. All right. Let's go. Right? Come over here. Am I wrong? Tail? Tail. Tail? Tail. Yep. I'm going to count that as a lock. We're no, just going to be cognizant of that. He's definitely getting crushed by her. It's like that, what, what is that movie? The big fat chick jumped on the little skinny kid? Road trip. Remember that? We had the big fucking leopard panties. It's easy. No. Um, what else was I wanting to say? What the fuck? Oh, that's how I wanted to check out. Diesel, stop trying to fucking shit. All right, check this out. The seeds are locked up yet. Not yet. All right. I was thinking maybe you got to work already. All right, guys, listen. That's what we got going on here at Bullen Morris, guys. We're ultrasound. We're moving along. Some girls are going to drop eggs soon. Some are about to go. We got everything from our projects. Each one of our projects has everything from girl. Excuse me. 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 Dad, there's shit up there. He loves eating it. The problem is he eats it, and then he shits out like powder. And Michelle's like, what, you, what happened? Like, I don't know what he did. Damn, bro. All right, we're done now. I was saving this for the, you know, get the, excellent. Okay, anyway, guys, our projects are all kind of moving on really nicely. We got girls at each one of our projects, be it the stranger, uh, the confusion, the clown pie stuff. Ah, oh, it's gone now. Um, and all of our projects, we have females at 10 millimeter follicles, some of them all the way up to about 30 to 40 millimeter follicles. So we are growing together. We are going together nicely. Our season's moving along. We also run a dog fighting uh, ring. Dog fighting ring. Um, get him, Shelby. Get him. Get him, honey. He's not even phased by you anymore. 70 pound pit, 120 pound Kanye Koso. All right, guys, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Kev, every time. What's the handle, baby? Sugar Skull Serpents on Instagram and now YouTube. Oh, yeah, he's got YouTube. I'm going to link. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put his link down below for his YouTube. Stop subscribing to him. We're actually going to head over to his facility, which you guys may recognize next week. With that being said, guys.
That being said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Be safe. Watch the six.